Hello Zendis, let's go on a string safari. A string safari is a project where we create a Zentangle using a given string. And this is our 12th string safari. You can check out all our previous projects in the playlist. I am Sandhya Manne, an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to yet another Zentangle mini project. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that we post every Tuesdays and Fridays. So for today's project, I'm going to work on a white square tile with a black pen uh, and a pencil. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so here we are with our supplies, my white square tile my um, pencil stub and 01 micron okay so let's get started so today's uh, string is string safari number 12 so we start with four dots on four corners so we start with a border okay so now let's uh, join the dots like so Okay, so I have my dots joined. Now, here's going to be my string. My string goes like this. One loop, two loop, dip and jump. Okay, so you start with a loop here once, twice. You come down, touch this bottom line and then bounce back here like this. Okay, so this is going to be our uh, string. Now let's start with our first tangle. Our first tangle is going to be a, a grid based tangle called CC. Okay, so we start with a grid. So make sure your um, grids are wide, so your lines are wide because um, we will be working inside the grid so we're going to do a lot of work inside the grid so make sure you have enough space okay so I'm just going to leave that okay so, so now my grid ready I start with a curve like this and a pod like this Okay, so I'm going to repeat this here in the next square, but I'll make sure that my uh, my pods kind of touch. So I'm going to change the direction of my uh, line. So here, this was going from uh, you know left bottom to top right, but here it starts from left top to bottom right. Now again, I'm going to repeat this. So every time I make this, I'm going to change my direction based on the pod that I have. Okay, so this is going to be like this. Okay, so now here, this next one, so this line is going to be like this. Now this is going to go this way. Okay, this way, this way, and this way because my pods are going to come here. like this okay so I'm going to repeat this again now here my curve is going to be this way so here my pod would be somewhere you know so we'll just make that half or whatever and so here probably I won't even be able to make my pot so I'm just going to leave it at that and um, okay now let's let's check out the extras here so here it's going to be this way and probably my pod would be somewhere here right so we're just going to do that and uh, I have one more section here so here it's going to be my line is going to be somewhere like this okay so now we are going to make auras so we'll just go ahead and 
do that. Okay, so just go ahead and keep making auras. See this beautiful flower that kind of comes out um, it really makes it a very intense tangle okay so now we're gonna make auras around the pod as well so we just go ahead and keep adding that so my pod is going to be like this So do you see how this is kind of peeping out? Looks like it's peeping out of a window, uh, making it very interesting. So this is a lovely filler tangle. We can use this to fill up spaces like that. And don't worry to match your lines with this. If it happens, that's fine. Otherwise, just just go ahead So I'm done with CC. Now let's move on to our next tangle which is called peppermint. So peppermint is a, it's really a fun tangle. Um, so the whole uh, idea is that we're going to skip the loops. Okay, so we're going to work peppermint along the space, along the loops, but we're going to skip the loops and probably here also. But this is again optional if you want to continue pe uh, peppermint you can do that or if you want to continue with this tangle you can you can do that as well um, so that's totally up to you I'm going to leave it and see how that that kind of translates so let's um, add circles for peppermint so we're going to add circles like this um, of different sizes and closer to each other but not really touching So I'm going to make them in different sizes and kind of pack a whole bunch of circles. Ok, 
to let's let's just add one here okay make sure your circles are big because um this tangle requires us uh, to have some space So I'm done with my circles. We can always add uh, tiny circles that we can always do that a little later. So, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make use like this and make sure it touches the circle. This part touches the circle. Okay, it should. So it's kind of one continuous line. Goes like this. And then we go back and add black in the gaps. so we're going to do this for all our circles So when you have smaller circles, I'm still going to repeat the same thing. So I'm just going ahead and repeating this in all my circles. It's a fun tangle. So take your time to do that. So now I've made my um, inner flower kind of lines. Uh, now I'm going to add few more circles to kind of tightly pack this. So we will try to have minimum white space. So go ahead and fill uh, or add more circles. And you can have them going behind as well. That's fine too like something like this okay. uh, but go ahead and add more circles so here's the thing this tangle peppermint is by sandy hunter uh, she's a CZT and um, so Sandy was my first uh, my, was my student so I got her started into Zentangle she took my class this was way back in just 2012 or something so after which she got certified as a certified uh, as a teacher Zentangle teacher and she has a blog called uh, tanglebucket.com it's a lovely lovely blog uh, it's a must visit if you haven't already please do check out her blog um, she has some amazing patterns there and her style of working is really beautiful so do go check out her blog and say hi from me okay so I think I pretty much covered so I'm just gonna add a few more circles here So again we're going to make this tightly packed right so like so ok 
Okay, so I'm gonna add the use. like this so let's go ahead and finish making the use and adding also adding the blacks and then we'll see how this looks and if you have to add more circles you can always add more circles so now um, I'm done with my curve lines and adding the black now I'm going to go ahead and add more circles in the gaps between, like smaller circles, more like triple, but not connected exactly. Uh, so just take a look, go around and probably add more circles. And, um, and then we're going to fill up the whole thing, like all the gaps that we have. Okay, so I've pretty much covered everything. Okay, so, so I'm going to take my 08 pen and we're going to go ahead and add black all, all along. Okay, so it's going to uh, merge the outlines of the circles but that's okay okay so take your time and just go ahead and add blacks and make sure you don't get into any of the white spaces as in don't get into the tipple or don't get into this so be very careful while you're filling and uh, yeah, I can always add if you think there is more space. Okay, so it should look something like this. So let's go ahead and fill our entire section with black. Okay, so I'm done filling all the black. And uh, now here is the fun, here's the fun part. So we are going to now add dots at each of these lines that are sticking out right so just go ahead and and do that if especially the bigger ones just leave a little teeny tiny bit of space and add your dots like so so go ahead and and make your dots do you see that so go ahead and make your dots for all of them especially the bigger ones uh, because you have enough space to do that so go ahead do that okay so here we are done with our tangles now let's get to shading do you see how it makes a difference uh, when you add the dots it just takes it to a next level okay so now let's add shading and then this is going to look even more fantastic so um shading for um cc uh, it can be done multiple ways so either you can put your pens uh, you know the pencil along this and then we're going to blend this out
there you go so that is done and now for um, paper mint we are we're gonna add pencil just on one side like this pretty much on the dots okay and and we're gonna just gently very gently blend it out like so do you see how beautiful depth it creates so we're going to do this in each of them and you can change the direction of your pencil line so add your pencil like that and very gently blend it out like that now um so these projects are for your personal use and no part of these can be um, used uh, for any kind of commercial purposes so please refrain from doing that this is solely for your personal use create and have fun um, and if you want to learn more about Zentangle do contact a certified Zentangle teacher we are trained and we know how to get you started and um, so please contact a certified Zentangle teacher in your area if you want to work with me please contact me I have regular classes online sessions happening uh, we can always work private if you wish to so do contact me my description is uh, in uh, my details are in the description below and uh, do sign up for tangle organizer it's uh, there's a link in the description so you get updates on my upcoming classes and other events that I do and also claim your free gift while you sign up so the description or uh, the link for that tangle organizer is also in the description so be very careful not to kind of go over or you don't want to do too much of it just a little bit so just out there So once you add shading the whole thing changes I mean this this is like magic right when you add the dots things change a bit but when you add the shading everything changes okay I got a few more here Ideally, I would love to put the pencil first. Just put your pencil first and then uh, work with your stub. Okay, so let's go back. So here I am done with paper mint and CC. So time to finish our tile with a signature. So let's put my signatures and let's put today's date which is 14th July 2020 and this is for YouTube string safari number 12 and our first tangle was CC and our second tangle was paper mint. So there you go.
you had fun on this safari with me i would love to see your creations so head on to our fb group zenbi where all the after party fun happens it's truly a creative riot in there with lovely variations by our zenbis if you're sharing your works on social media then please do tag me at samya mane or hashtag tangled with samya i would love to see your works there on tuesdays at 7:30 pm india standard time i host a instagram live uh, on my instagram handle at samya mane um so we create a zentangle mini project um so do join me and let's tangle together now it's time to comment so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that helps me plan out my next set of videos also it's time to show some love so please hit that like button share the video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you next on friday in our focus flight series until then remember to breathe and smile see ya namaste